Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. This is the house we are going to tackle today. I don't know if we're going to do two houses today or just this one. This is the Unsatisfying Effect House, and it's the only house that uh, I still have purchased but have not yet renovated. So this is what we're dealing with. I mean, we 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 know the drill with the yard at this point. Uh, let's take a look on the inside. So <laughs> there's this little hallway here that's not great. I'm not a huge fan of this, but we have a bedroom over here. We've got a little kind of cubby hole. I, maybe we can turn this into like a half bathroom or something like that. Um, and then there's another bathroom over here. There's another hallway, another bedroom. We've got this kind of uh, living room area, maybe a kitchen or something. Living room, another bedroom. Like this house is just so, I don't know. Then we've got like another bathroom and another bathroom. Like who? <laughs> what is this house? It's... Who did th who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> there are so many walls in this house. It's a little ridiculous. Also, there may be something... Uh, this is a walled-off area. And there might be something behind this. Nor often in the game, when uh, you find... When you're looking at the floor plan and you see an area that is completely walled off, you end up having something that the developers have hidden back there that's useful. And look at this. There, There's a safe. So, okay. Let's see what's in here. Uh, the answer is... It, it's an empty safe that's worth a ton of money. Uh, still, I'll take it. And... Uh, a house flipper painting, which I will also sell. So there you go. Uh, this is this is the house we're dealing with. Let me get to clean up. All right, my friends, I have completely gutted the inside of the house, sold all the doors, went with a brown wood floor, and now what I need to do is go back in here and add walls where I want, where I want to put bathrooms, etc., etc. Because this is a ton of space, which is great. But we need to divide up, you know, where we want the kitchen and all that other kind of stuff. So that is what I'm going to do right now. And then we'll, you know, I'll get back to you once I have a layout sort of figured out. Well, you saw what we had before. Here's what I have now. I have converted this into a three bedroom, one and a half bath fairly nice uh, house. So here's what we've got. We've got kind of our little entranceway. This will be sort of a living room area right here. We'll have our kitchen and dining room over here. So when you're walking in, you get this nice kind of moment where it just opens up and the whole the whole house kind of opens up for you. And then over here, we've got a bedroom. We have our main bathroom here, another bedroom. Over here, we've got a third bedroom. This will be the master bedroom. And then this will be a little half bath. And this will be uh, an office again, because I love having an office. I think it's a uh, it's it's a very nice thing. And, you know, I mean, we, I suppose you could make this a bedroom, too. But um, I'm liking the idea of having an office here. So this is kind of the plan. Everything has been laid out. And I like this new layout infinity times more <laughs> than uh, the layout when we first started. So. Now it's time to get some doors in and start working on the rooms. I have finished the kitchen and living room and dining room, and I'm actually really happy with it. So I decided to do something a little bit different for this house, and we're going for kind of a very traditional rustic sort of aesthetic here. So I went with like wood paneling for the entire room, this light wood paneling, with a little bit of an accent wall over here. This is a, a darker stone tile. Uh, and I think it it's really nice. Lots and lots of wood tones in here. We got a full kitchen, uh, stove, microwave, fridge, etc. Dining room area over here. And then our living room area. I put in a very sort of traditional fireplace over here. Uh, couch, rug, 
TV above the couch, etc. Because we still want to have, you know, the, the modern necessities like television and stuff like that. We still want to make sure we have that stuff in the house. But I, I just love the way that this room turned out. Lots of little plants kind of worked in here and there. Lots of very sort of traditional furniture like these bookshelves, cabinets, uh, coffee table, etc. Uh, not not very modern in the uh, the sort of aesthetic that we're going for. But yeah, I love the way that this is turning out so far. I know we've done a lot of uh, very sort of modern style interiors so far in this series, and I really wanted to do something a bit different here. So this is what I've come up with so far, and I'm loving the way that this place is coming together. Uh, but now that I've got the largest room done, I think we're going to tackle probably the... Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to tackle the two bathrooms next. All right, I have finished up the bathroom. So let's start with the main bathroom, which is over here. And I went with a shower and a tub. I did wallpaper in here, this kind of nice beige looking wallpaper. I mean, it's it's very... Uh, very sort of classic, not, uh, not modern. This is, this is a very, uh, non-contemporary, uh, sort of aesthetic here, which is what I'm going for. I'm going for kind of a rustic, sort of classic, um, house style. And, uh, cedar for all the furniture. I'm pretty much going to be using cedar for basically all of the furniture throughout the entire house. So, uh, but yeah. We went with a tub, we went with a shower. I decided to go with a double sink to help fill up the space. Uh, and, you know, it can I mean it's a very large bathroom, so um, there's room for it. Same with a tub. There's room for a tub, which is part of the reason that I'm using a tub. And it fits in this case uh, with the aesthetic we're going for. Uh, and then you got a little toilet area, some shelving. Um, you know, all in all, pretty straightforward. I like it. I think it's a very nice bathroom. Uh, and it works pretty well. So that's the main bathroom. And then I also have a half bathroom over here. Uh, again, wallpaper, but I went with a different wallpaper. This is more of like a floral pattern. Um, put in a couple plants, a couple dressers, just a toilet and a sink because it's, you know, just a half bathroom. Uh, and then a couple of paintings and pictures uh, to kind of help, you know, Make, keep the walls from just having too much blank space. So there's one bathroom, and there's the other bathroom. Now it is time to tackle the office. I've finished the office, and uh, it's it's nice. I went with a darker uh, wood panel for the wall uh, to kind of contrast with this. I went with, I think this is called the Alexander desk. It's basically a big sort of classic... Uh, traditional executive desk. Um, and then just a couple of bookshelves threw in a happy little tree over here. And that's basically it. Nothing super crazy here. There's, it, the, the desk <laughs> is very large, so it takes up a lot of this space. But I really wanted to use this specific desk. Um, so it didn't really leave a lot of space for everything else, but it gets the job done. Uh, dark gray curtains, um, because I tried these ones over here, but it was just too much contrast between those curtains and the darker walls. So this is what I ended up with, and I like it. I think it turned out really well. All right, I've got the first bedroom done, and this is the master bedroom. I added in another little space just over here in the corner as like a little closet. So we've got a little closet for this room, uh, wardrobe, a couple of little uh, dressers and things like that. Uh, went with a rug, nice bed, you know, just a nice kind of very simple, rustic sort of feeling bedroom. I don't know. I like it. I think it turned out really well. Some more plants and things. Uh, decided to go with this darker paneling again. I think it works really well. Um, but yeah, there's the master bedroom all taken care of. On to the next one. And the second bedroom is now finished. Looks uh, kind of like the first one as far as the general aesthetic goes. Again, cedar furniture. Uh, this is actually a different wall panel. Uh, it's still kind of darker wood, but it's a different one than we than we used in the office in that other bedroom. Uh, added a clock, added a bed. Uh, no closet in this one. Uh, this is actually a TV stand because it fit the space, and I wanted to have something here, some sort of um, like surface some sort of countertop, if you will, that I could put stuff on, like plants and a book. Uh, hung a guitar on the wall. 
not really a whole lot else to say about this place. This is the other bedroom. So now we've got one more bedroom left to do, and I think we'll do this one together. So since this is a smaller room, let's get ourselves uh, a ceiling fan. Here we go. And we're just going to center this in the room. That looks about right. Wow, I think I actually got it first try. Not bad. Okay, now for walls, uh, we've been going with this sort of rustic theme, and I do want to stick with that. Um, so we need, we're, we're looking for wall panels, and we're looking for wooden style. What about this? How does, this is one we haven't used yet. Oh, wait, that's the one that I had before. It's fine. Uh, that's a no. That's a no for me. It's got to be... I think we need vertical panels. Uh, what else we got? We could go with the light-colored ones that we used out in the living room. Just for something a little bit different. We could also consider making the, one of these walls like an accent wall. Ooh, I think I like that idea. So let's get the light-colored panels that we used in the living room. And we'll just put these on all the walls, except for this wall. And on this wall, uh, we could try... Where was it? This, the stone wall. Let's just take a peek. Uh, but I think I want to go with that. I want to go with this material here, which is actually a wall tile. So let's sell those. Go wall tiles. And we need this one right here. And I'm going to need probably three? Let's start with two. And let's just get these put onto the wall. And there we go. That is taken care of. So this is what the room will look like. And it's not a huge bedroom, but it's enough to, to do something with this space. So let's go here to windows, curtains. And let's get narrow curtains, get the... Is it this one? Yeah, this is the one I used in the living room. Let's put one here. And one here. Let's just put these in. There we go. Not sure if I'm going to like these or not. Do I like that for curtains? I don't think I do. We're not going with that. Uh, let's go with... Let's try dark gray. No, let's try the dark gray again. I th which is what we use in all the other bedrooms. That looks good on this wall. How's it going to look on this one? Where it will be much higher contrast with the wall. Ah! Uh, yeah, I think that's still fine. This this will do just fine. I'm good with this. Okay, so now we need a bed. And since this is a smaller bedroom, I'm going to go with a smaller bed. Rather than a double bed. Let's look at single bed options. And I'm looking for something fairly traditional again. Um... How big is this? That's too big. I want something smaller than that, but I'm looking for, as I said, I'm looking for something, you know, traditional. Uh, so we're not looking for like a, I don't know, something like this, for example. This is not a traditional bed at all. I'm looking for something with like a proper headboard and all that kind of good stuff. What about something like this, maybe? Eh? I don't know. Could work. That's not awful. Can maybe put that here. 
Like, I'm not a huge fan of the headboard on this, but there's just not really a lot of other really good options that are single beds. Actually, just kidding. This one. We'll, we'll go with this one right here. We want cedar and... Looking for sort of a traditional... I guess, maybe this one? Or this one? Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so we'll put this here. That'll work. And then we need a bedside table. Let's go with this one. I'll just kind of slide that in right over here. And we want to back that up more towards the wall a little bit, like so. So that'll work. And then we just need to fit in dresser and, you know, other stuff. So let's go with a... let's see here. Stylish chest of drawers, because that should fit nicely. Mm, we can maybe fit like a bookshelf or something there. Let's put that here instead. Let's get a bookcase, and we'll go with this one, because this is the most sort of traditional of the bookshelves. Put that right there, like so. And then we need like a wardrobe. Wardrobe. Let's see. This one is not as... Like, this is the one that I would like to use, but I, it's not big enough. What about that? How big is this? I mean, that's decent sized. What if we put... The, well, I mean, this is still smaller than I wanted, but this matches nicely with uh, this one. So what if we did that, and then we went, like, cupboards... I think it's here? Yeah, here we go. And then we did something like a, like a dresser with a mirror. You know, something like this, maybe. Just to go, like, right here. Something along those lines could be really nice. Now, for the floor in here, we got a couple options. I've carp I have carpeted the floor in the other rooms, but I think in this one, since this is smaller, we're just going to get a nice big area rug, and we'll go with like a... Hmm, that's not going to work. Um, where's the Persian rug? Here. Let's go like medium. Hmm... The problem is that the rug is not really going to work, because the room is essentially square. I don't think it's exactly square, but it's pretty close. So we need something that is also rather square, and something that's bigger. <laughs> uh, and there's not really a lot of options, it looks like, so maybe we should just go ahead and carpet the floor in here. Or, I mean, we could also just leave it without a carpet. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Like, it would be fine... ...like this. Yeah. Hmm. Or what if we did this? Let's, uh, floor, rugs... What if we just did, like, a smaller rug? But really only... ...for the bed. Something like that. Something nice and neutral. Like a gray? I think that might work. There was one other one I want to look at. How big is this? That's way too small. Yeah, so we'll go maybe something like this. Uh, and can I back that one more towards the wall? Yep. There we go. So that should work. And that way the bed is on uh, a rug. Because nothing is worse than waking up in the morning and step on your feet on the cold floor immediately as soon as you get out of bed. It, that's the type of thing that'll just keep you in bed forever. <laughs> okay, so next, clocks. Let's get a little alarm clock. And let's just put that right here. Like so. Let's get a plant. 
Um, maybe this one? And just put that right there. That should work. And as far as like wall space and stuff goes, there's not really a whole lot that we still need to fill. So we don't really need to go super crazy with paintings. But we could maybe get just like a small picture of like a landscape. Maybe something like this. And just put that like right here. Just something nice and simple. And then I think we've got a decent little bedroom here. Yeah, I think this is good. Okay, so the house at this point should essentially be done. Um, I didn't really do anything with the yard other than mow it, but it looks like there's a bunch of plants and stuff here, so we can probably get a little bit extra uh, for by submitting to the garden contest even without doing anything other than mowing the lawn. Um, but yeah, let's just do a quick run through of the house. We've got our kitchen, living room, and dining room area here. We've got our office space over here. Ma uh, this is the half bath over here. In here, master bedroom, looking good. We've got our other larger bedroom over here. The main bathroom. And then uh, I guess we'll call this like the guest bedroom or something like that. And that's basically the whole house. I really like the way that this turned out. I think it's really good. Um, I am just going to take... Was this the master? This is the master. I am just going to take a little screenshot. Maybe we'll use this for the thumbnail or something. <laughs> just a couple of quick screenshots of the house, since this is, uh, you know, it's nice to have those. Oop. Oop. And, uh... Wait, that one we already checked. Where's the other bedroom? Here we go. We'll do... One more. There we go. I wish you could revisit the houses once you sold them. I know it wouldn't necessarily uh, make sense, like, within the lore of the game, so to speak, because, you know, you sold the house to someone, and it'd be weird if you just showed up. But still, I wish you could go back to houses that you've already sold and, and just kind of see your handiwork. Anyway, let's try and sell the house. Submit for garden contest. Just do one of these. There we go. 5% increase. Not bad for doing nothing other than mowing the lawn. And let's see what we can get for this thing. So altogether, we've got roughly 110,000 into this house, it looks like. Give or take. And the Smoth family is willing to pay $75,000 in profit, nearly. So that is lovely. That's good money. Gets a, ooh, That's a great before and after. As is that one. That one's okay. <laughs> but you can see some of the plumbing in the bathroom. <laughs> Overall, though, I really like the way this house turned out. It's definitely something that uh, that's different from what we've done previously. We definitely went with a very different aesthetic. And I think it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. So there we go. We have taken care of another house and made a nice rustic place. But that's all that I have time for today. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.